And we're back! Uh, this is part two of trying to get the underwater skimmer. Um, so yeah, welcome to Crazy Games. Haha! <laughs> so this uh, Largo's character, the event came back up, so we'll see if this will complete the event this time. It's kind of annoying that. I couldn't really talk to her as we were doing the events and stuff because she had like dialogue and stuff. And uh, I'm just gonna do this. <laughs> um, yeah, she had dialogue and stuff, so I couldn't like get to this step until like the entire like meta event was over. And now I gotta do that meta event all over again. It would have made more sense for us to talk to some. Um, Bog in here, I would think, and then uh, join her in her quest. So, like, the quag in here would be like, Oh, um, like, instead of find the helpful Largos, they'll be like, Oh, find the quag in who knows about the, the, the Largos here, and they'll be like, Oh, hey, there is a Largos that comes by every once in a while. Maybe you'll see her soon, and then they'll unlock these two steps, I guess. And then you just wait here for the event. I think that would have been a little bit better. But uh, I guess, who knows? Who knows what was in the background that made this event or this um, uh, achievement be designed the way that it is? Yeah, we're back underwater. I'm curious as to how the. Um, the floating skill is for underwater. Do you just go up, and that's it, or is there? You can you still like evade stuff as you're floating? Maybe that skill is gone completely, and there's only like faster swimming underwater. I would assume the um, the engage ability would still be the same. Or more or less the same. It's just like a 3D kind of movement, so there should be a little bit. Or it's kind of expected that it's a little different than on land. They're all like hiding in the seaweed. All I see is their health bars. This one's clipping into this like structure here. Oh, vanilla. Vanilla Guild Wars 2, you have your charms, I guess. I'm also uh, down leveled because of this map, I think. Yeah, I'm level. I'm in swim trunks, apparently. I'm level 79. There we go. Oh, I gotta talk to her. Where is she? I think I put a target on her. Craig mentioned a powerful leader back at their camp. Perhaps he will be a challenge worthy of my skill. I must find it and defeat it. Maybe you can tell me about this woman. It's clear you're single-minded in your hunt. As Saibaha was in hers before heading to Mount Maelstrom, she asked to observe my very every movement. Intensely, her notes were intriguing, thorough. Intriguingly thorough. Mount Maelstrom? Why the hair? She believed she could learn all she needed. Pity the crate here are mad. She could have learned from them as well. So I mentioned that some of my fellows are hunting an corrupted crate near Mount Maelstrom. And off she went, of course. Well, Mount Maelstrom it is. I, the reason I read that really fast because I was afraid she was going to like start swimming off. <laughs> yeah, at least we're done that step so we can leave these suckers behind. So long, suckers! <laughs> yeah. We're doing this for you doing this for you. I just realized like there's like this weird like orifice on the side here that grows big and small. I guess I never really looked at a uh, skimmer like head on it's always usually from the back and I have noticed these little exhausts so is it like sucking air in here and then coming out there like <laughs> kind of like the engines on a uh, airplane wing. That actually looks kind of gross, <laughs> now that I'm looking at it in detail. <laughs> anyway, 
Search for Sai Baha around crate infested waters in Mount Maelstrom. Sure, I know where that is. It's this area, right? I wonder how this would be on a character who didn't doesn't have map completion. I'm guessing most people probably have like a main at this point. If they're at this point trying to get an upgraded skimmer, they would have a character with like map completion. But who knows? Like I, I've been playing this game since it launched, so there was a lot of content drought times where I'm just like, oh, I'll just do whatever I can and I'll do the map completion. But what if someone like came on maybe one or two years ago and they've just been like going from story beat to story beat to boss event to boss event to fractal release to raid release and they haven't really spent the time to go back and complete the map and now they're, they're being asked to go all over the place and it's just like ah uh, now I gotta go to Mount Maelstrom which I only had to go through like this to get to Straits of Devastation while doing their personal story, I didn't really have to do much here. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe there was something here that there was in the personal story. Or maybe they didn't even do the personal story, they just like level 80 boost and just started their journey in the Meguma jungle. <laughs> and now they're going back to vanilla Guild Wars 2, like in Tyria, and they're like, oh, we gotta do our trek all the way to, to or and from uh, Lion's Arch to talk to that lady, now we gotta trek back to here. I guess if you have mounts, that trek is not that bad. It is still a little bit annoying, especially if you add on top of... Oop. Especially if you add on top of, like, the fact that... Um, the last event was kind of annoying to do. It's just another annoyance over what's already annoying and it just kind of compounds. Is a boy Largos or girl Largos? Are all Largos, do they all look like this? I remember there should be boy Largoses, right? Or male, I guess. Male Largos? Largosi? Largosi? What is um, plural for Largos? This is a lady too. I remember there was a male one in um, Brisbane Wildlands, I think. That's like randomly offing people. It's like a bunch of Silfari being offed. And there's like another one somewhere by a corpse. I guess I should be fighting this person. Okay, I guess that was not part of it. So I'm supposed to be searching for the actual character around this area. Would she be caged in, in some of these areas? Disguised order agent? Is this, was this always a thing? Goes to show how much I pay attention. <laughs> This story. If the crate don't hate arisen now, I don't know what will get them to <laughs> job crazy hawk. I guess I was part of a story where um we trying to get the crate to fight the arisen. That's just a regular worker. Hello. Sorry, you're not the person I'm looking for, and I'm not gonna free you because. <laughs> She's like, no, come back. I'm hungry. I haven't eaten for three days. A lot to drink, though. Uh, ta -da. The thing is, this place is pretty big in, in terms of, like, how much area this covers. Like, there, you also can climb this structure, so she could be, like, at the top of this structure. Or like all the way at the bottom. Ooh, it's a new day! It's a new dawn. It's a new day. Yeah, I can't free these people. They're like free. They can just swim away. How interesting. How interesting. <laughs> yeah, it's very interesting. Why don't you just swim away? Uh, 
Let's go all the way down. Slave. Guess she's not down here. How interesting. Zoom out. I feel like whenever I zoom in and I'm playing, playing the game, like I don't get affected as much because I'm looking where I want to look. So my brain like goes like, oh, I'm, I want to look that way and I'm looking that way. So it, it like doesn't seem like a problem. But when I'm rewatching my videos and I'm zoomed in like this and I look left and right, oh, this was probably what really messed whoever's watching this. But when I watch myself play, and uh, I'm like, oh, suddenly I look left or right, I get like very dizzy and I feel like nauseous. So yeah, I think as much as like it is more, it, it shows off the game a bit more and my character a bit more when I zoom in like this. Visually, it, it's not as um, pleasing. Oh, there's people up there. There might be something up there. Let me up, let me up. Yay! Hello, lady. She's level 80. She can wreck everything here if she wants to. What level are we? We're only level 68. Hey, you! Let me out of here! Saibaha? It's Sibaha. Excuse me, it's pronounced Sibaha. Oh, oh, okay. Um, have we met? So it's actually you. Yes, it's a I'm actually me, and I'll I'd ask who you are, but I'm uh, I'm a lot more interested in whether you're here to get me out of this cage. One of the nearby crates should have the key. Can you help? On it. I'm on it. Obtain a cage key from Sibiha uh, Saibaha's bait captors, or from the nearby champion. Oh, I just killed that champion, didn't I? Yeah, it's still, uh... It's near the end of the Festival of the Four Winds, so these things are still out here. That guy just popped out of nowhere! So do we just kill random things until we get a key? I got a torn rag out of that. There's a captured skimmer here. Oh, I guess that would have hinted at where uh, you needed to look. Too bad I didn't see anything like that on the way here. On land, I can actually fight. I actually know what to do, but underwater, I'm just like, uh, I'm just gonna press some buttons and hope things happen. Is that why people here are just killing all the crate? Because there's like no crate around here. They're being cleaned out. Dead. Only in this world where you can go to another person's home and just kill everyone there. <laughs> But, but, but they're all evil, so it makes it okay. Retreat. Stand your ground. I have the key. The key. Uh... Feel my wrath. I wreck your stuff. Better in crate Nimros. You're dead. Give me a key. 
I don't want your money. Actually, I do want your money, but I also want the key to say to save that lady or to let her go. Choop. Oh yeah, yeah. Both of you come come at me. In fact, you come here too. I'll take you all on. No key. No key, huh? What do you want from me? Is there an event around here that maybe... Uh, I wonder why they decided to make like a tedious event like this. Like arena net make you just kill random things in the environment to get an item. Oh, I got something. Oh, I got blood. Blood and water is completed. So I got another ornate rusted key for this master diver thing that I've been procrastinating on doing. Ah, uh, that ding got my hopes up. How often does that champion Nimros crate spawn? Because that would be very, very um, nice for him to spawn now, so we just kill him to get the key. You know you want to give me the key. I mean, like, why do you even need the key for? It's not very useful. It's just extra weight for you to carry around anyway. So just give, just give me the key. Just, just give me the key. It'll be fine. It will be fine. I promise I will leave once I get the key. None of you or your brethren have to die. So far this quest, the quest to get the the skimmer feels more like a chore than actually anything fun. Like if it's a world boss or something, I would understand. Like, cause that's like a fixed schedule, so you know when, when, when and where to be. But this is just like me sticking around, killing these uh, crates with really. No idea whether I would proceed or not until until I get that key and at this point I don't even know if these guys dropped the key because I've killed so many of them and I still haven't got it or maybe I already haven't I just don't know I am kind of sad to say that this is this whole thing has been kind of a negative um, reflection on this game or how like bad this game can be but I guess it is like during a the the, the uh, the devs 
have made this entire event, I would I would assume, uh, during the pandemic, and they've been working from home, which has its difficulties, so maybe they needed kind of like, uh, they needed more time, or they, they figured like, the easiest way to get something like this out to the public. And it was harder to coordinate something more, like, involved. I don't know. This is one, kind of the reason why I don't try to push this game on my friends. As much as I love this game, and I think they would love this game, too, if they spend time to, in, in, like, immerse themselves in it, is that Vanilla Guild Wars is just like very mediocre <laughs> and it really takes uh, interest in like the lore and uh, enjoying the combat mechanics to really get someone interested in this game when you're presenting just Vanilla Guild Wars. Like, I don't want to be the guy who goes like, yeah, 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 it was just uh, join me and Use buy buy the game. They'll give you a level 80 boost, and just ignore everything, <laughs> and just, just we'll just start in uh, Heart of Thorns, and it'll be all good. Yeah, I don't want to be that guy, cause then uh, when you get to ooh, I got the crate key. Nice. It would have been nicer to get that crate key like five minutes ago. <laughs> anyway, I was saying. I don't want to, because there is kind of a lot of learning in order to really know your your specializations, uh, know what skills. Like these skills are are categorized by like spirit weapon, signets, shouts, and in in each category there's like a couple skills, and you gotta figure out what they do or learn what they do, and also like to a new player, I feel like. This menu, and uh, where's the other menu? This menu, like, it's really hard to translate this. Like, people, I can totally imagine a case where someone goes like, "Oh, this is a uh, signet passive. Uh, cures a condition from yourself every few seconds. So if I unlock this, does that mean every few seconds I would get a condition cure? It's just passive, and they don't know that you're supposed to equip it as a skill. They just think, oh, this is like." My character like progression as I get leveled up I just and get more skill points I unlock these things I unlock these things they don't know that these are actually tied to here I can totally see that that's the case even though it says skills here but it does like visually representation like like words it says skills but visually you don't really like these all look so similar that you don't really see that this section is for here and these specializations are for here and as you're like upgrading like oh does that mean as I'm upgrade uh, putting points into this this is what I'm getting and uh, you won't a new player wouldn't know that you're actually just unlocking this section for you to choose which uh, part of the specialization you want so I can totally see that being kind of bad for a new player, or at least a hurdle for a new player to understand. So telling them immediately to boost to level 80 and uh, go into Heart of Thorns, where like ArenaNet has made the people here really tough to fight, it's like a big turnoff for new players. They'll be like, oh, this game's too hard, I don't want to play it. <laughs> So I, I really feel like it is important to go back and fix like or enhance the the experience in Corteria. And uh, the the state it is in now is the reason why I'm reluctant to get any of my friends involved. Even though I personally like love this game and think it's really fun. And I think it would be really fun if I can just call up my friends and be like, hey, do you guys wanna do some dungeon runs? Cause um, these dungeons are not really that advertised anymore. And 
You know what? Let's look. Let's look at if there's any dungeon LFGs. Ooh. -hoo. Ah. 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 Even a raw doesn't have any. A raw has like pretty good uh, rewards. Yeah, it's kind of sad. Like, this is kind of fun if you want to do like dungeons. If I could just be like, oh, do you guys want to do the paths in Ascalonian Chaotic Catacombs? Move on to uh, Honor of the Waves, Citadel of Flames, blah, 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 blah. Go through like each dungeon. And you can just do it with your friends, right? Because it's not like a pug or anything where you, you're expected to perform. You can just like shoot the shits with your friends. This, uh, this, this uh, video has become more about me ranting about how I feel about the game more than actually this skimmer. Ah, oh, jeez. I get distracted really easy, I guess. Do you find the key? Yes. Here. Thank you. Impressive work dealing with those crates. Turns out they were a waste of my time. They're also a waste of my time. Thank you for saying that because I feel the same way. Nowhere near as informative as observing Aimina. You have no idea how hard I had to look for you. Adria wants her skimmers. I suppose she told you I stole them, and well, that's technically accurate, but it's not what it looks like, and I'll prove it. Good idea, because it looks like you're a thief. Does she look like a thief? She doesn't have that thief lo um, icon. And she's not using daggers, she's not stealthed. Uh, she's not seeing how like she's being mistreated in PvP balance. She doesn't look like a thief to me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's not about me. I want the skimmers to thrive. The knowledge I've gained, the experts I've consulted, the training techniques I've implemented, Meet me in Lion's Arch at my new camp, you'll see. If I don't, I'm taking these skimmers with those skimmers with me. How am I, by myself, gonna take all these skimmers? These skimmers have like an affinity to her. So they probably would follow her, but what, what, what would I have to make these skimmers follow me? Like, because I have my own skimmer and they're like, Oh, let's follow that skimmer. I don't know. I promise you, it'll make all it'll all make sense when you see the skimmers in Lion's Arch. It better, or there'll be consequences. Hmm. See like a script on one of these, like shiny. We could go go go. Let's go 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 go. <laughs> I guess this whole um, event, or this whole achievement, or the whole process of getting this uh, skimmer uh, mastery unlocked has uh, made me interface with Corteria, and because I already have like my opinions of Corteria. It made me talk about my opinions of Corteria more than caring about whether I can go underwater with my mount, my skimmer mount or not. Which is, um, I don't know. I don't know what the devs were going for at that with this, um, because it's not showcasing how great uh, the events here were, or here for the mat, for the matter. It just kind of showed that. It is very mediocre and a bit tedious. So where is her new thing? Hmm. Maybe the uh, window will tell us. Meet Sibaha Saibaha back in Lion's Arch. Okay. It would be nice if you would tell me where. Is that too hard? Is there a skimmer ranch around here? I would assume it's like somewhere here. 
Maybe even here. Well, there's a jumping puzzle here, so I don't think it would be there. Uh, let's just go here and see what we got. Just took a drink of some coffee. Mm. That slight bitter taste in my mouth really wakes up my taste buds and at the same time wakes me up a little. I guess there is a point. I don't know if it's intentional that they didn't tell you exactly where she is to make you look, but to me that's kind of just annoying. Like, okay, now I gotta look for her. Like she couldn't tell me where she is. I don't know if that was intentional to make you think, kind of like interface with the game a bit more. But the way I've experienced, I'm experiencing this is just more of an annoyance than anything. Like, where is she? She be here. I know what's your name. Something McKay is there. Maybe she's near the Tengu wall. Won't that be sweet? Like she's saying, it kind of hints at Tengu related stuff at the same time. I don't see her. I would assume it'll be close to water actually. Yeah, Ella McKay here. Just making sure. What's her name is in here? This is a priory camp, so I don't think she's here. I would assume she would either be near water or in water, since the whole point is to get the skimmer underwater. And I think she's hinting at the fact that she has figured out how to make skimmers go underwater. I'm playing normally. When I hit like a snag like this, that takes up time without much value in how I spend my time. I would just look up a guide and be like, okay, where is she? Because <laughs> I don't feel like walking through lines arch like this for like the millionth time has any value to me. So I would just look up a guide and be like, where is she? Oh, there she is. I'm just going to make a beeline straight to where the guide said she is. There's no water here. But for the sake of doing this while I'm recording, I guess, I'm, I'll do it. It'll be the experience of someone trying to do this um, with only the resources in the game. I'm on the boat where you should you should have like all the resources available in, in this game. Like it's nice that you can go slash wiki blah 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 and it'll like pop a browser up into what you need to know. But for like stuff like this I feel like everything should be in game to really like give you enough hints to know where she is or where you need to be or what you need to do. I don't know why I'm looking at those. Guess I was hoping maybe there are some words here that maybe she's underneath here. Yeah, some word. <laughs> Evan Nash Blade. Yeah, maybe some word like associated with skimmers or something. So yeah, for those who don't know, the reason why there's a uh, quote-unquote Evan Nash Blade was 
because there was a living story step that had Evan Nashblade like walk through here I think it might have been old lion's arch and uh the Kanak I think was in a cage and uh Evan Nashblade would come through and be like talk to Kanak in some way except at the same time Evan Nashblade was also right in front of the black lion like area <laughs> so if you had like you and a friend you would be here and a friend would be where the other Evan Nashblade is that you can both be like I see an Evan Nash blade, so technically they're in two places at the same time. But obviously this was kind of a uh, um, oversight where they didn't like despawn this Evan Nash blade or something and have this Evan Nash blade walk through and talk to Kanik. So what they said to kind of like retcon and fix everything that there's like a fake Evan Nash blade. <laughs> Uh, that, oh, skimmers! What you got for me? Ah, glad to see you made it. All right. What's this all about? Lion guard, let me set up on the beach here. It's not much yet. Once people see what the skimmers can do, I've no doubt we'll be able to upgrade the facilities and ensure skimmers are never endangered. Enough hinting. What can they do? Earn silver placement or better on that Saibaha's advanced skimmer course. So this is an adventure, I guess? You ask too many questions. Hop on one, find out, see if you can earn silver on the course. Then you'll understand. I don't have time for this. But I do have time for this. I specifically came here to do this. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Am I supposed to get one of these skimmers? Or my own skimmer? Uh, nothing has changed here. I guess it is, um... Uh... Uh... Not Heart of Thorns, Path of Fire. It is this I'm trying to unlock, right? So you put this all together from the people you've met. Somaros was hoping you'd stay away. All right, let's go. Advanced skimmer course. Oh, you get your own. They, they automatically spawn you in one. Or I guess this is my skimmer since it has my dies. Well, Tokyo drift around that. Deja vu. Feel like in this place before. Higher on the street, and I know it's time to come home. Instruct your skimmer to dive by holding left shift. Oh. Okay. Wait, so if my skimmer already has this, or is this only activated because of this adventure? Because I thought you would have to put points into that, um... You had to put points into the mastery. Get rid of that. Okay. So when I hit s space, it doesn't train any uh, stamina called stamina so I don't think you evade yeah this on on the surface it does so you do have to press a button in order to go underwater in a previous video where I was talking about how uh, I was uh, it was actually a, a festival of forwind video but I was talking about the skimmer and they just like kind of announced that the skimmer is going to be able to go underwater and I was talking about whether it's going to be like regular swimming where you just look down and and sink right down or if there's a button so I guess they, they went with the button I got silver nice what's this bonus chest bonus chest okay guess that's done Hey, impressive! You're a quick study! And now that you've seen how my skimmers move, you should be able to teach your own with a bit of effort. But wasn't that mine? It had my dyes and everything. <laughs> I guess ArenaNet didn't want to go and bother making you, like, ride a 
generic skimmer if you have like specific dyes for your mounts or if you have like skins for them I guess be using your skin how would it work for haul up haul up haul up haul up haul up isn't there like a bird or something for a skimmer maybe it doesn't show up nope well that's a turtle now this how is this gonna work underwater now I want to just buy this just to see how it works that's how they get you that's how they get you I guess eventually I'll see someone with a hummingbird underwater Maybe that one specifically is disabled. I don't know. Who cares? Does not affect me. So how's the ranch doing? Business is rapidly picking up. People saw you on the course, which helped. Gold's coming in. Black Lion Trading Company came to ask questions. More importantly, the skimmers are healthy and happy. So you put all this together from the people you've met. I've had several theories on helping the skimmers. I Ardra never listened. Jonic, Cal, Lama, even Zomoros. Their information nudged me in the right direction. And once I saw Amina in the water, she seemed intrigued by your attention. She was incredible, scientifically speaking. Even now I continue to refer my notes on her. They're extensive. I should visit her again. She fascinating. For you. But what about Ardra skimmers? It's always about the bottom line with her. Not only will I compensate her, but she stands to gain quite a bit given that the demand for skimmers is about to skyrocket. You did steal from her. I'll pay, but I won't apologize. If I hadn't stolen them, then Ardra would be hoarding the last of the dying species, all for fear of risking her investment. I wasn't going to let that happen. Fair enough. Zomuros was hoping you'd stay away. As if I'm interested in talking to that glorified trash trader any more than necessary. I learned more about hydrodynamics watching toxic gulpers mate. That Miani does all the real work anyway. <laughs> oh, oh, Zomoros. Oh, he got sick burned. Even for a water gin, I guess even water gins can be burned. He gets me nice stuff sometimes. <laughs> what? Sometimes, really rarely. Have you checked in with Ardra? She's checked in with me, or her representatives have, to be more accurate. Alright then, I guess the lawyers have checked in, like, Oh, we need you to do our cease and desist. You're not allowed to release better versions of our, our product. Because that is against licensing. Uh... You don't have a license to use our product, so you're not allowed to improve on it, and we're suing you now. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess that's it for this. How long have I been recording? 43 minutes, holy! I've been rambling on for so long. Uh, uh, I'll quickly uh, see if I can unlock the skimmer. I don't have- oh, train. Ah, oh, I gotta like max this out. Ah, uh, as much as I hate doing this, I'm going to do it. Because I cannot be bothered. Wait, did I even select it? Why do I keep going to Heart of Thorns? Gimmer Mount, train. Do I need to be in Path of Fire? That person is doing what I want to do. So this is towards a... a spirit shard, so I need to be in Path of Fire to do this? I actually don't know if this will work. I have a feeling it won't work, which is going to make me really sad. Oh, I can't even use this at level 80. No, why? That's kind of annoying. Uh, can I use this? 
Nope, that just gives me a, a, a spirit shard. So I gotta max this out. Hmm. I don't really want to do this. Eight. Oh, I got 16, so I can do this. You know what? I think this is good enough. I don't know. As much as I want to be able to fill this out and actually unlock it and show it off on my own skimmer, I feel like that's probably going to take another like hour and a half. And really, at that point, it's just me playing the game and not really, it's not really about the skimmers anymore. <laughs> so I'm just going to end things here. Uh, if you've made it this far, again, thank you very much. I don't really feel comfortable with the last these two videos about the skimmer achievement since it was really I, I was like pretty annoyed at the whole process of doing this because it wasn't really that fun and it was more tedious than anything but um, I can't wait. I'm, I got through it and uh, if you stick the round I really appreciate it um, I should really be telling you guys to leave comments Leave a comment, please, and tell me like what I can improve on, because right now I'm kind of going blind and doing whatever I feel like. So yeah, thank you very much. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Goodbye. I'll do a wave just to wrap things up.